All right, welcome everyone. So this is a um, weight loss session, uh, not so much weight loss session, but a dietitian's uh, perspective of how to lose weight in a healthy way. Um, so I'm going to introduce first uh, Minakshi, who will be doing the introduction for our dietitian Prabha today. Minakshi? Yes, thank you. So hi guys, uh, Prabha is my golden child, I guess. She's a dietitian that is um, based in uh, Jalandhar. And um, she... Indiana. Yes, sorry. <laughs> there you go. And she uh, was introduced to me by one of my mentees um, who happens to be her sister. And this conversation that I've ever I've had with this sister was two years back. And she said, when whenever the... Uh, Whenever Mudair goes to India, uh, you have to have Prabha. She will be your person. She will help you and she's going to build up, build you up. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is what I was, how I was introduced to her. Prabha is a dietitian and is, is a wellness expert with an 18 years experience. She is, has experience in masters of food and nutrition. And uh, she works so she has a uh, working experience with VLCC, which is one of the pioneer company in India um, for weight loss and slimming. So um, over to Prabha. She is one of my persons who has utmost knowledge. She, she has studied the fact sheets. She knows all the ingredients. And there was one question that I had from her, uh, which everybody asked, why? why we don't have carrot in our um, in our uh, as one of our in our program and she explained it so beautifully that i think she's the best person she's good she's going to guide you through with that query as well so we so need anyhow, to know why so we need to know why we need to hear that explanation <laughs> that explanation is very good because of the products that we have yeah. there is one supplement and Prabha, but I'll put put those things through. Why why carrot is not there? Let's start with that first. All right. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, Meenakshi. Thank you very much. Uh, so let's bring in uh, Prabha. Prabha uh, is a dietitian in uh, India. So I will just uh, let Prabha do the talk. She has her information she want to share with you guys. So uh, uh, I'll leave I'll leave the whole session to Prabha now. Uh, Prabha, it's your it's yours now. So hi everyone, this is Prabha, and uh, as uh, Vijaya and Minakshi has boosted me a lot, you know, I really uh, you know thank you so much for giving this uh, you know platform to talk. I have been working from last eighteen years as a nutritionist and a wellness expert uh, with one of the India's leading company, VLCC. But you know what? Uh, we, are, we have been dealing with people in face to face. We have never kind of this conversation on the you know. Uh, this kind of Zoom meeting or something where I can share my experience and all. So um, if related to this, uh, today I was about to talk and they have been given a topic like, you know, healthy eating during weight loss, how we can eat healthy and stay fit, how we can maintain our body fitness with a healthy eating, which is a very important uh, topic because, uh, you know, uh, what I would like to share you here, not only about the tips while eating healthy, but also when the people do have a lot of queries regarding that if I'm going to certain weight loss program or a fitness program or a wellness program, am I going to leave all my lifestyle and, you know, put myself isolated, uh, you know, to just to make sure that I should be stay fit. But uh, honestly speaking, uh, we truly don't believe on these things. We really have to make sure that we should be fit from inside as well as outside. It's not important that what size and shape you are. It's important that how fit you are. Uh, during this, you know, last year, 2020, when we had this pandemic, and I'm sure we all of us has learned a lot of lesson from this. We have been exposing ourselves, talking to a lot of people, going out, you know, making all those, you know, uh, uh, remedies. But believe me, people, those who were internally fit, their immunity was very good. They they, they really stayed fit for a long time. They was never been, you know, got such kind of problems in their life. So if I connect myself in a food, diet, and fitness, 
uh, I will literally say that please go on a healthy way to lose your weight, to stay fit. Weight loss is one aspect to lose weight, but it is also important that you should maintain a healthy lifestyle because it's not a day affair. You, know? you want to stay fit for lifelong. So once you are getting in this program, you should at least make sure that you should be eating nicely and especially on a homemade thing, something which is natural, something which is practical, something which is toward possibilities. Yeah. So I would like to share you the 10 steps where the weight loss can be happen. And it is like a very easy way while losing weight, maintaining yourself, maintaining your healthy lifestyle. We should keep at least four or five things in our you know, routine that we should make sure that we should have these things in our diet and lifestyle. Number one, we just should have our food should be full of fibers. We should have a lot of fibers because fiber is a satiety, gives a satiety value. It gives you the fuller effect. So for a long time, you don't feel hungry. You Because half of the time, we really don't notice that uh, what kind of food we should take. Because when we are free, we feel like we should eat it, which we call as a fashion foods or we call as a craving. Craving is nothing like in our dictionary, you know. Craving is all your mind made. So when you are eating only wrong things and you're not having enough fiber in your diet, your body starts digesting very easily and it makes you again, you know, a demanding body of, uh, for food. And end of the day, we'll end up into wrong eating. The second important thing is like, we should ditch to add sugar, you know, added sugars, sugar, which is present, it's required as we have created a villain for our sugar, you know, that sugar is something which is not required. We should start eating sugar free. We should start uh, taking something which can cut down our sugars. There's nothing which can cut down your sugars. But important is what we can do it. You should not add the sugars. We can add the sugars through fruits. Like you can have apples. We can have something which is food, which is sweet, which will easy to digest because it is made naturally and your body will absorb it nicely. Even you can add something which is like a um, little sweeter. Sweet can make your uh, feel good because sugar is also required in our diet because it helps you to leave and it work as a you know antidepressant it will actually release your serotonin hormones which makes you feel good so we require mita that's the reason the cadbury's has this ad you know mita ho jai. that is what caption which has been taken from a company to make yourself to get into that chocolates third is make your room for your healthy fat Fat, again, the question is like, we're making the fat which is not good. Good fat and bad fat are two different things. The good fat is required for our body. And we should always consider something which is uh, nice to our body. Fat gives a mobilization. Whatever you are eating, you need to get digested. It needs to get absorbed. And then it needs to be excreted from your body. This can only happen when you're having something which is lubricant. Fat work as a lubricant to your body. So one should not cut down 100% fat. You should take a natural fat, like from a meat fat, chicken. You can take it something, you know, externally we can have a little amount of, a uh, limited amount of uh, spoon of uh, ghee or uh, olive oil, whichever is available around you. You should take these things. Not too much high, but it has to be into a very normal and a measurable amount. Fourth, we have minimized distraction. A very important factor, which is I would like to bring a light on this, is a, is a distraction. We generally eat our food while chatting, watching TV. And I have been seeing these days, I have been visiting a lot of people, in, even in my clients when I do. You know, I make sure that I should never have my TV, you know, uh, on a wall mounted near my dining table. Because when we have this distraction, we don't actually, you know, take food properly. Our body will not absorb properly. In India, we follow this Ayurveda, yoga, you know, mindful eating. This is all about taking a colors. You know, we got all about the colorful eating, designing on the plate. When we are not seeing that plate, what is the point of taking? That means we are just eating. Just we are making our mouth work and our stomach work. We are not absorbing that. This absorption works psychologically in our body, which helps us to feel satisfied and that craving goes off. The fifth thing is like, may walk your way to health. Now, when we are going to any of the celebrations, party or gatherings or any of the social, 
we should not make ourselves little funny that we are on diet or we are talking about you know less food eating or i don't eat this i don't want and you should just always opt for the healthy option go for something which is healthy for you healthy means health means which gives you energy energy means you know you should go for something which you are able to digest properly and you are able to be comfortable you know comfortable in that no matter whatever matlab you know quantity you are taking it it is important that you should take in a proper manner which is required for your body because then we i need my portion size i need my you know uh, capacity what i can eat i should not go by anybody else word the sixth factor which is important for healthy eating is bringing out your inner chef let's be creative you know this lockdown i think in india i don't know about other like you know I, around my places everybody has become a chef everybody has tried a new dishes everybody understand you know initially we used to order something and we used to get and we used to eat now people understand what amount of fat has been used what amount of oil has been used what kind of quality has been used you know so you you take out your inner chef so that you should be creative your involvement should be there your you know uh, positive energy should be there you should feel good factor and end of the day after eating you should be satisfied ki, oh i have i have now created something good which can help me to stay fit seventh is having a high protein rich breakfast now why protein is important in breakfast because as i know we, all you have know that protein is a power house after a long sleep you know we take our dinner by 8 9 or 10 maximum and we get up in the morning by 6 so this complete 9 hours difference 8 to 9 hours difference we are breaking the fast which is called as a breakfast breakfast means breaking the fast so when we are breaking the fast we need something which is a high energy foods which is we should involve a high protein because protein will give you a satisfaction a fuller effect it will take a long time to digest and it will make you happy when you are eating and you don't get frequently you know uh, hungry so that eating in a small portion and eating a quality portion is really important for us to stay fit and healthy in anything you know beat weight loss beat fitness beat wellness or weight management also you need to make sure that your protein should be balanced now question is this ki how much protein is required for a body eating protein does not means you should take anything and everything and whichever quantity even in this mudair we have seen this when we talk about the balo cell we talk about the trim there's certain quantity which is there because this quantity will help us to absorb in our body and will make us body fit we should not take over otherwise you will feel constipated you will not able to digest which we call as a after effect but this is not our after effect this is basically an over portion which we have consumed number 8 is don't drink your calories now if i'm talking about the calories um, having juices having fruits uh, not eating fruits having juices has become a very common practice so let's work on the you know uh, calories part when we talk about the calories anyway if you're losing weight or gaining weight your calorie count has to be there so we should always make sure that we should take a lot of food which is we should chew it because while chewing we are using our saliva we are increasing our taste buds from our mouth that is going to our stomach again the enzymes are working fine and then our body enzymes will uh, whatever you are taking it the body enzyme will digest properly it will absorb properly and it will give you enough nutrition which your purpose of eating if you are eating a high protein food but not chewing properly then you will not able to get that uh, kind of protein which has been supplied by the fruit so we should always make sure that we should take a good amount of you know um, uh, calorie content and not making sure that uh, we are taking and eating on rush or we should make sure that we should sit down properly comfortable zone and take your proper foods after that we have a ninth position which is i feel which is ninth point which is important is um uh smart shopping now shopping has to be smart when you are buying it you should take a nutrition content a food content calorie content and then smart shopping if i have to take a option of a you know if i have if, if i'm working and i don't have time and i feel like that i have to take food which can give me enough energy because i have to go out and i'll be no time for eating for 5 6 time hours so i'll go for high protein food i'll go for some scrambled eggs with some you know sandwiches or we can have something with fruits vegetables with a lot of you know uh, milk added so that it should give us a satiety value we should smart shop so that we should buy something which is nutritious and a uh, tenth but the important factor which is uh, related to a healthy eating is water 
we should stay hydrated without water everything will go waste if you are not taking enough water in our diet the uh, you are not able to absorb things understand fat is not absorbent if i we face see the chemical structure and if i go uh, we go through uh, uh, appearances you cannot uh, you know mix anything in fat so easily if you are making cake also or baking a cake also if you put uh, fat or butter and you put something else it will take time to whisk and make the but if you take water and if you mix mix sugar salt or any vitamins it is absorbed easily it is mixed easily so understand water is a precious thing and a very important thing during the weight loss we should watch how much water we are taking over water and under water taking is also a question we should at least take 4 to 5 liters water in a day if you are in if you are having a work lifestyle of more exposed to sun or uh, more of physical work then that requirement also increases as per your physical work so this is something which i feel like uh, i personally feel like as a nutritionist or i'm sure everybody should be you should, we must be little convinced about things that these are the few things these are the 10 major points which i picked up that this is important for people to lose weight stay healthy be fit thank you anything else vijaya which i uh, you know you, you people if you have any queries please come with me yes thank you very much that was really a very important 10 points that uh, in fact uh, which is ma mainly incorporated into our program as well thank you very much for bringing up all those uh, important points uh, i'm just going to stop the recording now so we can take questions from uh, everyone thank you very much just give me a minute